Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays a Brawler, where I am here in Clive Bean in what I was hoping would be my last day here, but then I just remembered about the Reeves daughter. We can't skip by the Reeves daughter. Ah You have ridden the bounds? What, well, what did you did encounter? You couple of work here and there. Yes, my men ride the circuit many times a day, ensuring the safety of the city. Usually it's quiet, but occasionally orcs or other foes stray between the lines and must be fought or driven away. Yeah, that's sort of what happened. For Rohan to be safe and well guarded, the no well, I also encountered must a be as well. I also encountered a farmer, but I think it's best he not be told about that story. I was told that Reeve Othward wanted to speak with you before you depart Caliving. Oh, uh, well, I had to talk to him anyway, so I suppose I'll have to do that. Uh, I suppose I can't punch him in the face or anything like that. You know, one form, a message from Mildrith. Oh, well, let's go and speak with him. Maybe the four of us could take him on? Well, he can't do too much to me if I've got backup, right? And when I was saying that the story about his daughter, I meant his eldest daughter, not these two daughters. Hello there! You have done well! You must be the hobbit that I've heard so much about. How many hobbits do you think are in Rohan right now. I simply must thank you. I could not be more pleased with the result of the investigation. That's because it didn't implicate him, as it should have, right? Uh, to think that a coward would threaten my life with poisons rather than face me with the grievances in person. Oh yes, because you would go and poison them with your blade, right? Oh, it sickens me! What, the, your, your poison or the thought of someone doing it to you? Oh, we must put these matters behind us. That's right. Let's sweep it under the rug. For further turmoil yet lies ahead with me and my people, of course. And there are further people who wish to speak with you also, apparently. Receive this reward. Yes, all right. Now, we have... I guess we'll take this ring. I need you to do this. You've already proven yourself capable of managing important and challenging tasks. Yes, I am sure you do. But what else we have here? Oh, we have hmm, a second proposal, yes. I am inspired by your companion's example. I have been speaking with your companions while you aided the captain of the guard. I am inspired by your example. A man of Rohan, a girl of Dunland, and an elf. How is it that folk of such different backgrounds can work together? It pains me to see that you're leaving. And can you not stay and help to maintain the Cliving's defenses? I could use each of your talents to better the state of my people. Discuss among yourselves if you must, but and do not decide to leave so quickly. A strong Clifling makes for a strong Rohan. What do you say? I think it is time to go. Yeah, I thought you'll say that. We need not stay here any longer. Cliving has strong walls. Okay, I heard your opinion. And you? This city has little to fear of orcs, if you ask the opinion of an elf. All right, they all agree. It says, I'm sorry, we must be... They feel that we must be going. You cannot blame me for wanting to keep skillful folk at the disposal of my people. If you have business back in Elthangles, can I ask you to deliver a message for me? Oh, yes, good. This will surprise you, but I have no male heir to carry on my line. I love my daughters more than my own life, but a son will release me from the worry that my line will end with me. My wife has been dead for the past year, and it is time I begin thinking of the future. St. Mildred of Elthangles has had more than her share of grief these past few months. It is my power to heal the sorrow I have caused her. I will do so. 
I desire her hand in marriage. I will respect her decision on this, but please express her how strong the union between our families and our cities would be, and I have a feeling I know exactly what her view on that will be. As much as I would like to get out of this place as quickly as possible, there is one more thing I need to do. I need your help. I have a personal matter that I can feel can be entrusted to you. The second eldest of my daughters, Edith, has aspirations to becoming a shield maiden, following in the reputation of her father as a great warrior. I love Edith dearly and wish her to be happy, so I have arranged for her to receive some training um, at, to become a shield maiden. I have seen your experience and talent, and uh, talented they may help her with it, so I need to spoke to Edwolf in training grounds. So she is the second eldest daughter. So So these are two younger ones. Where is the eldest daughter? I don't think you ever meet the eldest daughter. I was thinking that Enos was when I was referring to her earlier, because I think I referred to her as the eldest daughter, but no, there's one even elder, but where she is, I have no idea. Here's the training ground, in a nice open location where the orcs can easily attack. And we have Edwoof here. I do not believe you will find welcome here. The training ground of the Aerolingas are no place for a young woman such as Edith. When she becomes injured, or probably worse, it will be my head that the Reeve will be after. If you're here to help her to keep safe, then I welcome your aid. But please refrain from encouraging her foolish ambitions of becoming a shield maiden. If the Norcrofts is to be saved, it will not be by foolhardy women. Okay, uh, it looks like he is not... I do not understand why we delay here. Edith is quick to learn in fighting techniques, but she lacks size and strength. And yet you have no qualms of sending me all over the place to protect people, despite the fact I'm half her size and a third of her strength. <laughs> Uh, training is one matter, but she has absurd ideas of charging alongside the men into a real battlefield. Since you seem to be quite eager to help her, I am going to relinquish her training duties to you. Afterward can speak to you when she gets herself killed. It will be none of my concern. Go speak with her uh, at the mill to the north, above the ridge. Oh, above the ridge. Oh. The ridge. Ah, my mortal enemy. Though a ridge with the road is a lot easier than the ones that tend to keep me back. Ah, this must be Enos. Another yes. lesson learned. I have a great respect for Edwu's prowess in combat, but as a mentor, he leaves much to be desired. You haven't sent to take his place. You would not have been chosen were you without skill, but you have yet to prove yourself worthy of my favor. I shall have you know that I intend to become a shield maiden of great renown, and then I take my training quite seriously. Allow me uh, to see how quickly you can dispatch of orcs. Impress me, and I'll eagerly follow in your, in your guidance. Okay, I need to feed five orcs orcs before time expires. So I have 10 minutes to kill 5 orcs. Surely I can kill 5 orcs in 10 minutes. And you'll notice that I called a regular steed here because I don't feel like going all over the place having no control over my mount. So I am just going to dismount before I just as I run into the orcs. that there are orcs in the area. There, there should be plenty of orcs in the area, right? Yeah. Orcs. I wasn't expecting you to have to go out this far. Well, into the farms. Ah, there is an orc right there. Let, uh, let us start. There. And we're only at, we only wasted one minute during the travel time. 
Alright, that's one. There you go. Two. So now I am ahead of schedule. That's good. Three. Now let's skip the tormentors. I mean, the, the, the tormentors. Okay, that that's a, a wolf, not an orc. Four. Oh, no, no, that one didn't count because that was a wolf. I even said it wasn't going to count, and I still counted it. Ah, I should pay attention to myself. And five. All right. There we go. And that's several minutes to spare. Was that fast enough for you? Another lesson learned. That was rather impressive. Even that braggart and wolf will be hard-pressed to achieve such a hasty feat. Very well. I shall heed your counsel. Having skill and strength will not be enough. I must learn to fight with courage and honor if I am to live up to my father's reputation. Okay, well. I guess I should not tell her what her father's reputation is from certain other locations. There is still much to learn. Striking tree dummies and sparring with squires. These are fine tasks for a novice, but it is not enough. If I am to ever to truly progress towards becoming a shield maiden, I must see some real battle. I have just the task in mind. It is nothing too excessive, mind you. Simply a hunt of the local bears. With you at my side, what danger could the beast pose to us? Well, I guess we'll find out. The desire to train against more unpredictable foes has drawn Edith's attention to the bears roaming just beyond the training grounds. Another lesson learned. The wild bears are off seen amongst the trees nearby. We must look only for the target, largest, most ferocious bears. They must offer a challenge if I am to improve my abilities. Let's begin this hunt. I'm eager to learn through observing your skills. All right. Despite the fact that I'm punching them and you're using a spear. I think it was a lot more believable when I was playing a warden with this quest. <laughs> These at least were using the same weapon. Ah, there's a bear right up there. Eh, a worthy foe! <laughs> a dead foe. Impressive! I... I can learn much by observing your tactics. Well, at least spears can be thrown. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. There you go. But she's going to dump the spear and punch him with her gauntlets or something? Ah! Such a meager challenge! Come, let us find another! Another bear down? This was a rather fine plan. I feel more confident with each passing victory. But Rip gets... Oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong people. There we go. Hold a moment. From the south, the sound of hooves approaches. An honorable victory. Something approaches. What seeks us here amongst the trees? Be ready to stand your ground. Rakai scouts! Hold your ground. We've been discovered. Ah! Alright, well. Let's see what we can do against the Urukai. Alright, that, that one's down. Oh! Where'd it go? <laughs> Alright. Another band of Urukai. Uh, well, 
just have to see what we can do about that. Alright, so that's one dude rick down. And. There you go. Okay, good. It's two down. Now, where is the last dude yeah, ju just watch where Enus is going in. That's probably draw an arrow from there to the Uruk. Edis, 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 Edis. I should get her name right. Yes, the Urukai were no match for our strength. Rally to me. I, I am already with Another you. Another lesson learned. That was too close, Fat Punch. Hurry, let us return before others appear to overwhelm us, uh, or follow our path to the camp. I think we got more than we bargained for, but I think that was successful. An honorable victory. That was not quite what I had in mind, but it is difficult to ignore that it was invaluable first-hand training. How fortunate that I had you at my side when things got perilous, however. Thank you. You're welcome. Every struggle is a step towards greatness. I must admit that your mentoring has been invaluable. I have learned much simply from observing you and fighting alongside you. I know that my determination oft can cause trouble for myself and for others, and I appreciate your willingness to stand by me despite this. The other squires never treated me as an equal, so it, uh, it is good to have someone to speak with. If you are not opposed, I have other thoughts at which I would like to discuss with you. Yeah? Edith has quickly grown to trust you as a mentor. She wishes to discuss with you her aspirations and her fears. An honorable victory. I'm eager to learn more from you, Pine Punch. I know it will not come easily, but I will become a shield maiden no matter the cost. I'm fortunate to have met someone with the same determination and will to do good that I see in myself and in my father. My strong will and determination are traits passed from my father. Father loves his daughters dearly and has supported my dreams of becoming a shield maiden. Yet his greatest desire is to sire a son, an heir to, gr to groom to take a seat when he should pass. When mother passed away, father was devastated, but he never abandoned this desire for a son. Yes, yeah, so I've noticed. His strong determination will not allow him to fail. He will pursue a new wife with dignity and purpose. I am confident that he will succeed in this end, and that he will have a son at any cost. Ooh. With enough training, I hope to be able to rally and inspire others in the way that my father can. Oh, can you hear something? Another lesson learned. I hear the sound of fighting among from the training grounds. We had better investigate with haste. Yes, let's get down there with haste. Hmm. Edwolf! No! This is horrible! Another lesson learned. Edwolf has been wounded. It's not a fatal blow, but he will take some time to protect him. This must be the work of the Uruk's Pine Punch. No doubt they are assailing the training grounds. Go and assail the Uruk intruders while I stand watch over Edwulf. Okay. Alright, so Uruk's in the grounds. I guess we'll have to go and take care of them. And where are they? Ah, there we go. Uruk's. Hi. And I gotta kill nine of these in order to finish this up. Hi. And your turn. Oh boy, I managed to take care of them even before this one walked by. Alright, good. 
But what's not good are the number of dead and wounded Rohirrim around here. There you go. Ah, what do you say about that? Ah. Well now, let's get back to Edis. It looks like an Uruk or two came around here. A timely return. A large Uruk approaches. Oh, and let's take care of the Uruks. All right, and you. There you go. Another lesson learned. We have defeated the invaders. It is most fortunate that we were nearby. It will wounds aren't fatal, and the damage to the camp will be quickly repaired. These men owe us their lives. Pine Punch, we arrived just in time. All right, good. And this camp really needs a, a, a perimeter wall to keep out the invaders. Not the best of circumstances, but it looks like we weathered it for now. An honorable victory. I'm speechless. We were able to repel the invaders and save the others. The men have begun to recognize my talents and treat me on equal footing. I can ask for no more. Never have I been so sure to become a shield maiden is what it's meant for. I have earned the greatest confidence of my abilities thanks to you. All right, you're welcome. And I guess I'll take, oh no, we want that, no, not that, not that. Well, I'll just take something for the money, right? There is still much to learn. Thank you for that all you have done. I could not have done this without you. But I must now prove my skills through my own deeds. Return to my father and inform him that I am thankful for the encouragement and aid. Uh, when next we speak, I hope to be a true sentinel of the Norcrofts. Well, I will report back to your father, and I guess I won't speak it out loud to her, but I hope that it's the last I see from for a while, and that I could finally be out of Cliving when we return to the next episode of Piney Plays of the Brawler.